Hi, welcome to Race Louvers. Uh, before we start releasing some more recent wind tunnel data, we're going to go over some of our previous tunnel data. Here we go. Okay, here is our raw XL data straight from the wind tunnel from our previous trip. Uh, on the left side here, we have the various uh, vent designs that we've tested that are out on the market. Our uh, three race louver trims, and this column here is the drag on the vehicle. Center column here is the downforce on the vehicle, uh, specifically the front lift column, most applicable. Uh, negative numbers uh, indicate an increase in the front downforce. And then here we have our aero balance, front to rear. And then on the far right is our cooling gains. Uh, we have the coefficient of pressures for the front and the back of the radiator. And then the associated percentage uh, cooling airflow increase through the rad. Um, so there's the pretty much the most of the data. I'll give a quick uh, overview. Um, most of the louvers that are out on the market, uh, they're in the eight nine pounds of downforce range, maybe ten percent improvement in cooling. Uh, not as much as you would think. The race louver trims here. Uh, are in this column. The uh, RX specifically is good for 17 pounds of downforce and nearly 30% cooling. So um, race louvers has we, what we call two different configurations, maximum cooling and maximum front downforce um, and then anything in the middle. So in maximum cooling you would install your race louvers um, and keep the front grill and everything as open as possible basically looking for maximum cooling ability and then you would benefit from from that uh, now the maximum downforce configuration the goal would be to overcool the car and if you would overcool the car that allows you to seal up the front grill and when you seal up the front grill downforce goes through not through the roof but is significantly better um, so basically most cooling systems are pressure fed and so when you can rely more on the extractor to pull the air through the radiator instead of a big wide open front grill to push it through um, your overall uh, pressures go down dramatically and that's pretty much where your downforce uh, comes from so that's the two configurations maximum cooling maximum front downforce uh, completely tunable by the user um, with grill tape and if you want to get fancy um, you can fix some uh, permanent plastic blockers to make it look nice uh, etc so um, we put this stuff into chart form uh, I'll show you the chart in a second I wanted to go over two other things uh, this column here is the drag and if you notice the drag starts to increase as your cooling increases. So basically most of the drag associated with um, better extraction is due to more airflow through and uh, flowing through your engine bay. Basically causing a lot of drag and restriction. But if you need the cooling, you need the cooling. Uh, the drag is really not that much. Uh, if you don't need the cooling and if you want to overcool the car and look for maximum front downforce, uh, when you do that the drag actually goes back to near zero. In this particular particular case, the drag is actually less than um, when we started with no hood vents. So again, the uh, little bit of extra drag that you see here is associated with how much cooling air you need through the vehicle. Um, one last thing is the data straight from the tunnel is scalable. So right now it's set for 100 miles an hour. And we wanted to see data for, say, 80 miles an hour. Because uh, the charts that we produce, uh, we show data for 80, 100, 120 miles an hour, um, just for reference purposes. So you see our data changed. And, of course, the downforce um, goes down a little bit. If we go to 120, we'll let it recalculate here. Um, you could see that we're nearly 60 pounds of downforce. From a single race louver kit and some grill tape. Um, so we'll go back to 100. So that pretty much sums up 
the actual raw data from all the uh, various designs that are out on the market now, our stuff. You guys can compare it. Uh, I'll show you real quick uh, the charts that we put, at least the one chart that we put together. Uh, here it's on our website and it just shows the uh, cooling, um, increase in cooling. Uh, so we'll go back to our tunnel data and there you go. That pretty much uh, covers it. All right, there you have it. Uh, raw XL data straight from the wind tunnel on uh, various uh, hood vents out on the market and also our race louvers. Um, follow us on Facebook, uh, on also on YouTube, and that's it.